Hey guys, it is Sharon back with Little Britain Company and I am here today with a Timu haul. I'm going to straighten the camera out just a wee bit. Um, I'm not sure that helped. We'll just, <laughs> we're just going to go with it. Um, so uh, pups are not here with me today. They are actually at the groomers being beautified. Sophia went running in there and <laughs> practically knocked their door down because she likes coming out smelling pretty and girly. So um they're off at the groomers and we're going to do a Timu haul and I will tell you there are very few crafts in this one. This is a lot of other things. Um, some good, some bad reviews, I'll tell you, because uh, I've taken a look at a few of them as I priced it out for you. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by showing you these. This is actually from a previous haul, but this is Timu earrings because I have so many. I wear them every day, a different pair of earrings, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna keep, you know, if I don't mess my hair, I gotta mess with the camera. Okay, ready? We're, we're really, really gonna jump right in. Y'all are shocked, aren't you? Shocked. Um, so the first thing I have to show you came in this nice little bag. Um, as I always do, I pulled everything out and I priced it so that I could tell you what it was. These were $2.69. I do like the little um, container they come in. Just open these up. These are clip-on sunglasses because at the moment I don't have, a, neither Little Brit nor I have um, uh, the, the progressive glasses. We both need them. I need to get specialized sunglasses, but I like, I've always liked the option of having um, different options. So I'm going to clip those on here. I'm going to take a look. Other than, I, I know, I don't know if I'm, you know, love the shape so much. I will say they're not too bad. Um, you know, they're, they're not horrible. I mean, I can certainly flip them up. <laughs> this really reminds me of like a thing my parents would have done, but you know, needs must. You do, you do what you can and they're not bad. They're not bad. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. So to get them on and off, you just, can you see that? Um, you don't see them. You think that you're gonna, you're, they're gonna impede your, um, uh, your viewing, and they don't. You just kind of clip. Um, so I will say because, and they're very. I can't even explain how thin that is. Can you see that? I mean, they're really wafer thin. Um, having said that, I will wear these. These are not bad. Um, I know they're gonna help. And so, well, one of us, a little bit might decide he wants those because I bought a second pair. These were $2.87. Uh, these are the ones he thought he might like, but he'll try them on. And honestly, because I'm okay with it, um, I wish they had ones that literally looked like, I, because I usually wear a bigger sunglasses. If they had ones that were like a little bit bigger, um, you know, more, uh, more now, Okay, so right away I can see a difference with these. It's funny because these are more expensive. This clip is much more pronounced than, let me pull it better than I think it is, uh, than the last one. So take a quick look at those. So if you need these, they're nice in a pinch. You know, they're definitely nice in a pinch. So yeah, look at the difference between the clip here and the clip here. I mean, this thing's huge. That clip is huge. And you're definitely going to see that. I mean, that's going to stand out. Whereas with this pair, I don't think that the clip stood out. So again, I'm going to just clip them on. You just literally do that exactly. Clip them on. So there we go. It's weird to have this big thing here. I wish there was something different. I mean, the other one you could barely tell, but this one, it's like very pronounced. It works. The good news is it works and that's really, you know, sometimes that's all you really need. You need it to work. Um, I will say these um, are a little bit more inter of an interference with my uh, line of view, which is interesting. I don't know. I don't know if we'll keep these. We may send these back. They're just not really what I thought they were going to be. And I did not know that even in the pictures, it's just so hard to tell. Sometimes you just have to have it in front of you. Um, so there's that. And then there are more sunglasses. <laughs> I, would, 
I kind of went sunglass crazy. I don't know. It's summertime we're, and we're all kind of struggling with glasses. I have found a couple of glasses that actually fit over the top of these. So I don't have to have the clip-ons, but they're nice to have in the car. Um, so then, sorry, I'm not showing you. So then I found these for my husband. Now this, here's what's interesting. These were 287 and these were 287. These were 269, so close. Um, so they're packaged up really nicely. Um, they don't feel bad. I'll have him try them on for you. They don't have the weight and weft that we like in our sunglasses because, you know, we, prior to absolutely needing glasses to drive, <laughs> we we had nice, you know, nice sunglasses. So, um, but they're, they're not bad. They're not, um, you know, by the feel of them, they're not expensive and, and they're not. So, um, the best feeling ones that I have gotten so far were those bigger ones that I had. So I'll put those aside. We'll see what he thinks. I think there's one more pair of sunglasses in here. Here we go. I didn't put a price on these. Oh, there it is. These were 377. These were the most expensive. So we'll see. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I was like, I don't know. <gasps> oh, okay. I'm ooing and eyeing over these. Mm, they're not bad. Let's see. Oh. Okay, I like these. <laughs> I'm liking these. I like the thinner, I've noticed lately that I need, um, you know, the thicker ones just impede my peripheral vision. So when I'm driving, I need something. And I, to be fair, I don't have to have my glasses, glasses on to drive. I need them to read, um, but not necessarily distance. So my eyes can get tired on long trips, but on short trips, I can wear something like this and I like these. Okay, y'all tell me if you like them. Kate, weigh in here for me, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, so I also, the description said you could wear these over your own glasses. You can't. These don't, these do not work over my glasses. So it's a no to, to being over the top of your glasses, but a, I really like them. Okay, 377. Those are not bad. Those are not bad. And I'll have uh, Big Brit try those the other glasses for you. Uh, usually he wears those when he works. So, you know, I'll get him to try those out for you. I'm just gonna grab some stuff. I got a lot of stuff in this order for my hair. Don't tell me this is another pair of glasses. Oh my gosh, there's another pair of glasses. Oh, I know why. Uh, Big Brit wanted these. These were only 98 cents. So this is the kind of thing that he likes. I will say for 98 cents, you know, it's comparable to what I would buy at a Dollar Tree, so it's cheaper than that. Uh, we'll see whether he likes them. They are not safety glasses. They are just the yellow glasses to, so you know, um, what's it? they help you with the driving and day and nighttime driving, or supposedly. We'll see. But 98 cents, again, it's cheaper than Dollar Tree. Okay, what did we get for hair today? I got, yeah, I went a little bit bonkers with my hair. Um, Cause I really wanted some of the bigger clips. I have been seeing these everywhere. And when uh, when our daughter, when Ashley was here, when our daughter was visiting, we saw these and I almost bought some. And then I thought, I said, no, I'm gonna wait and um, see if Timu has them, which of course they did. Um, 87 cents, 87 cents. This is, this is like the thing right now. It's got a nice big clip. Let's see, my hair's in a ponytail, but, okay. If it can hold my hair like that, it can hold my hair, which is, I like it. I just thought it was cute to have. I've never, I mean, I've always had like the normal hair clips. Um, so I got one in blue. This one was only 77 cents. That is one thing, always with Timu, check the colors because more popular colors cost more. But apparently this is not one on, I really, really like this. And I think y'all have noticed I wear a lot of blue. I don't know, I just do. 
Okay, this is the same. They had a lot of different colors of these. These were the just the two I grabbed up. Um, they feel good too. They just have a nice finish on them. I don't know how to explain that. Um, I like those a lot. Um, if you remember the little, these little clips, y'all remember these? I've talked about these before. I love these little clips. Um, and I have a set of these and I ordered in my next order. It's an illness. <laughs> In my next order, I have more of these coming in just because they're so small and I think I only have three of these. So I wanted another set and I think the next set's like five in different colors. And I like things that match. Um, so I went for a few others. So this one was 57 cents and it's the same design. It does not have the same finish. This one has a shiny and I didn't think it was going to be shiny. I like it, it's fine, but I really, really like this kind of matte finish. Really, really liking that, and that's what I was hoping this would be. I'm not sending it back, I like it. <laughs> so, you know, it's Timu, you kind of, you kind of are figuring out as you go. Okay, so the next one I'm opening before I even show you. Uh, and it was, you know, fairly inexpensive. What did I say that one was, like 57 cents, I mean, can't go wrong. This set of three, if you can read, that was two thirty nine. So again, what a dollar thirteen each, cheaper than Dollar Tree. These do have that nice matte finish. Oh, I really like these. So this one, these are much bigger, much much bigger. I like these. So I got sort of, I mean, I wear, I just wear some, a lot of more muted colors. They had these and everything. You I certainly could have ordered other colors. And as I wear these more, I might. Um, what I find, what well, what's always been true for me is when I put my hair in a ponytail, which is kind of a tried and true, get it out of my way, um, it can give me headaches sometimes. Doesn't it give you all headaches sometimes to put your hair in a ponytail? Especially if you pull it back nice and tight. So these don't. So <laughs> that was my best little <laughs> sorry <laughs> I do not mean to tell anybody anything because what do I know <laughs> I'm just sharing it's what I realize what I look like and I'm just like what are you doing um, so not to finish up with hair I also decided to try one of their hair brushes this was two, 227 um, and I actually will say Dollar Tree has some decent hair brushes right now. I don't know. They seem to, I'm sorry for all the crackling. They seem to be getting more and more kind of nicer things in, which is sort of cool. So this, I liked kind of the look of it. Um, I mean, it doesn't feel substantial. I think it's comparable to Dollar Tree. So let's see. For me... Let's do a quick, ooh. all right, oh, look at that. Let's do a little quick brush through. Uh, let's see if it'll help me with my bangs. Um, I like it. I actually like them a lot. It doesn't feel, it's not, you know, it doesn't feel like a more expensive hairbrush. They feel more substantial. They've got more weight to them, but that went through my hair really quickly and easily. Um, little Brit, Here's your little story thing. So little Brit has, um, in the very back of his head, he has, I think I've mentioned, I, I'm sure I've said this before. He has this weird, it's probably about that big, patch of hair that is just deadly dry. Like his hair, he's got beautiful hair. He really does, but he's got a patch. And so when it grows out at all, when he has, sometimes he has longer hair, sometimes he has shorter hair, he's gone between both of them. Um, whatever he's feeling at the time, sometimes he just lets it grow for a while and he'll have, you know, Longer hair. Um, and he looks so cute with long hair. He really does. He's got that like bohemian kid look. Uh, anyway, it mats. It's like it's like natural dreadlock type matting. Um, and and he's, he's got a very sensitive uh, head. So when we try to brush it out or when he tries to brush it out, it can be really painful. Right now his hair is short, so it's not bothering him at all. But um, anyway, so as it gets just a little bit longer, because it doesn't take much for him, this I'm hoping will work to sort of, it's just so nicely spaced as opposed to a tighter brush. 
there's your story. Like it or, <laughs> like it or not, you got a story. <laughs> and yes, I do know that not everyone is fond of my stories. It's okay. It's okay. I love you anyway. <laughs> Sorry, cracks me up. Um, moving on. Shall we move on? So I picked up another one of these. I'll show you what this is. This was 99 cents, guys. 99 cents. So I have I have one of these. I gave one to Ashley while she was traveling and she loved it. Um, she'd been looking for one. And then I bought one for the guys. And so what this is, it's one of those bags that sits on your luggage handle. So basically, um, you know, what you, you just fill the bag up and then as you're trying, as you've got, cause your carry on, you're pulling your carry on, this slides right into the handle. And so it fits and it doesn't fall off the top of your luggage. I certainly remember the days when the, I, I thought that would be so cool to have something that would attach to the handle and someone worked it out. So I bought one in black for the guys for right now. I'm sure at some point I'll buy another one, um, you know, manly one for them. But 99 cents, I mean, oh my gosh. That's just an amazing deal. Okay, next, I got this cool little thing right here. Now, what is that, Sharon? Well, I'm trying to remember. This goes into your washing machine and it's meant to pick up, I think it's meant to pick up hairs and things in your washing machine. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to say what it looks like. I'm just not. I'm not going to go there. Anyway, it's meant to pick up little hairs and things. The other one, if you recall, I was like, oh, I put this one in the dryer and it didn't work. And, you know, I, this was supposed to be going, this, this was supposed to go into your dryer to pick up all those the extra. I have long hair. The boys have hair. The dogs. We got a lot of hair going around in here. So trying to keep the hair out of the machine. Every once in a while, I'll find in the inside of my machine, we've got... Uh, we have a front facing machine, just like a mat of hair. So uh, these, which I also got from Timu when I, they, the description said they went in your dryer. They don't. They're for pulling the hair off your clothing. So you don't have to do those ones where you, you know, pull and throw away and pull and throw away. I mentioned those in the last one too, but I figure if we're talking about washing machines. Okay. Next. Talking about stuff. So much stuff. Um, I've got, I have a whole basket. It's, it's so fun. It's like, it's like Christmas. Every time. Okay. So the next one I picked up was this cool, this cool thing for a dollar 25. Let me show you. I don't have a can in here right now. My trash can is getting big. So this is really cool. All right. You see that it's really just this rounded top. Let me see if it fits on the bottom of my, okay. So pretend that this is a can we cut the bottom off the can. This drains your can without you having to like try to hold the top on there. I'm sort of old school when I open cans, like I just opened a can of tuna last night and you gotta, you squeeze the top down to try to get as much as the water out. No more. You just turn it upside down and drain your can. Turn it back right side up. Whatever's left is on the inside of the can. I am very excited to try this. Very excited. It's the... It's the little things. Okay, next for a dollar ninety-eight, we have we have which I which I think many of us do, uh, but we have a little gap between our um, our oven top and the counter space, and it it's always driven me nuts. Just drives me nuts. So they sell these, and if you know what this is, this is literally fits onto the side. So this goes on to, this side goes onto your countertop. This side gets the edge of your stove and it stops stuff from falling in between. Hoorah. What, $1.98? I'm trying this out today. I will let you know. Um, if you all remember the bike pavilion with my husband outside and the kids jumping in at the end, um, we've had that up now for a couple of weeks. It's doing great. It's holding up to weather. We've had some storms come in. Um, we're liking it. We're liking it. It was just a nice, easy, quick thing to put up um, for some of the extra bikes that we have right now. Because right now, for some reason, Big Brit, uh, Little Brit has two bikes. 
Big Brent and I both have mountain bikes. Um, we're right now looking for more. <laughs> we're just a bike family. Um, okay, let's see what's next. No, let's see. Um, okay, so in the kitchen, I picked up one of these cool things for a dollar four. This is, I think you, many of you probably already know, but this is a cherry pitter. And then we had cherries right before this and I couldn't, couldn't pull it out. So this is basically, you just put your cherry in there and you, and it goes right through. It is a, okay, I may just, I may have them send me another one. Um, I, right here, I don't know if you can see that. How close can I get for you? Right here, do you see that? That is rough, man, that'll cut you. It's like when they were using the mold, they didn't cut it properly. Um, but I like this. I mean, the it goes all the way through, so your cherry goes in there. You can pit your cherries pretty easily for a dollar four. Um, but I'm not I'm not crazy about the uh, sharp bits. Sharp, not shark. Oh, all right. So not in the kitchen, but I have shown you all these before. I love them, and it's interesting because I saw a reviewer recently. Um, Say something about don't bother they don't work this was a dollar 58 for all five of the brushes and you know really basically what you do is you just um hold on you just take them out put them on either end of your glasses i like to hold the edges and clean your glasses and i gotta say that worked really well. Oh, look at that, I can see. <laughs> so I, I had said since all of us wear glasses, I was gonna get some extras and um, I like them. I don't have any problem with them, but I do know that there was a re reviewer out there who said they did not like them at all. Not at all. Okay, let's see, we've got some jewelry in here. I'm super excited about. Let's I'm trying to grab some things from here. <laughs> There's so much. There might be a little bit more. Hmm. Okay. So the next one, I'm actually not going to take this one out of the bag. This was $5.48. Well, maybe I will. This is an ironing mat that you're supposed to be able to put anywhere. And sometimes when I'm doing bigger pieces, like if I decide to make a quilt or a baby quilt or some something bigger, um, being able to stretch it out, especially on a table where I can really get the the length and width of it. So that's a nice size, guys. It's got a slight smell to it, to the back of it at least. Okay, I can't even get the whole thing in here. I like this. Um, I also like to have, when I'm sewing, I like to have an ironing surface right next to me. And right now my ironing surface is a little bit on the smaller side just because of where I have it set up. So I wanted to be able to have like a, not a big side table, but one of those um, TV tables with an ironing surface on top of it. Um, so excited, I am very excited about that one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Again, it's the little things that get us super excited um okay this one is just plain stinking fun um isn't that cute 98 cents something just cute to give your kids and this could be um a stocking stuffer and I, i'm saying that and i should have mentioned it at the beginning um that if you're this way through the next video coming out on july 1st is starts my kicks off my month of um, Christmas in July and it will be a Christmas Timu haul which I am super excited about so the first one came in it's already been priced it's ready to go it's got some really really cute stuff in it <laughs> and if you're like me and you're always looking for stocking stuffers regardless of the age oh so fun um anyway but this I just thought was super cute 
So it says, um, Pocket Penguin, here's a hug while I can't be there. Put me in your pocket and take me everywhere. I just thought it was so sweet. But I'm going to put that, I'm going to give that to Griffin, um, to Little Brit. But, you know, what a sweet thing to put into like an elementary child's lunchbox or just something, you know, your grandkids or, I just love that one. Um, okay, so what's next? Oh, this one's coming out. This is a glass cutter. This is supposed to be a precision glass cutter. I have no idea. This is for Big Brit. This is his his uh, his wheelhouse. It was a dollar nine. We'll let you know. Um, he'll do you know, he'll do something with that because, like I said, this house is constantly. Do you see this? If you can see that yellow sign right there, that is our, um, that says that we are renovating and it's always there. <laughs> it's our license to continue to work on renovations and oh my word, why? <laughs> um, okay, I picked up another one of these cool things. This was only $2.88. Um, and what's really cool about this, you can use, you, you know, the, the plugs, that you use for your phone that take the USB, you plug this in and all of a sudden you have all of these USBs. And um, one of the things I also like about it is that you can turn these sections off and on. So you don't have to have a live section. This is very European um, or, you know, other than the US. This is a very European thing. Um, their normal power strips have this too, so that you can turn off specific power and you undo the entire power strip if you want to. Um, so I was, I really like that. We just so often have so many different things that we're having to charge. And, uh, and Timu, as I said before, they're really, really good about having, about sending things that have USB. Well, now you've got a whole USB charging station. So that's kind of cool. Um, that one came with thing for the glasses. I did pick up, I'm probably not going to take this out. I did pick up these. These are, of course, for the, your key toppers. This is more for work. Um, just because I have some different keys there, but 98 cents, I thought I can do that one. This is going to be a, um, 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 stocking stuffer. Oh my golly, my brain is just like, <laughs> sometimes. um, and this is for breaking glass, uh, in your car. And I thought for each one of my kids, well, other than Little Bird doesn't drive, um, for 98 cents, yeah, let me get this. And so there's like several ways that you can break the glass using this. Um, it also cuts the seatbelt um, if that's necessary. So, and it's a keychain, so you always you can always have it there. Um, so I thought, mm, well, let me do that. That's, that's a great thing to add. Um, these, I mean, you don't have to be a crafter to, to have a nice little pair of scissors just to have around to snip. And that's what these really are. They're like snippers. They were 97 cents. And I am pretty sure at one point they went down to like 50 cents. I have purchased, I like that. It's got a little, it's in a little bag. Um, I've purchased these before, but just a nice little, let's see how well they snip. Oh, that's actually really good. So I very much like those. What did I do with that thing? Um, and I do like that they they put they do try to um, give you a uh, you know some semblance of additional safety in some of these, um, and I very much like that they've got this little sort of case they can fly into. So I'll put that aside right away. That could go either way because that's a nice little thing for anyone to have around, just you know, like in your purse or something, um, just quick and easy. You got a hanging tag. Um, found this and thought I have to. This is so cute. All right. So this was 99 cents. That's it. 99 cents. It's a, it's just an empty case. Um, I'm sure this would fit a deck of cards, maybe even a bigger deck of cards. I wonder if it would fit this thing. No, not quite. I was hoping it would fit that. Um, but I have some different plans for this. Um, I'll show you today. I have a die cut that will turn this into something different. Um, and I know that probably doesn't make sense right now, but super cool. Alrighty. 
So then, okay. So I got this multifunctional cleaning kit. This is meant to um, clean the dust. That was weird. Was that somebody in our window? Okay. Um, so this is meant to clean uh, the dust uh, off of your um, charging cases and um, earbuds. So this is for earbuds. Oh, I guess they're not right in the window, but whew, they feel close. Um, and your earbuds. So <laughs> just it kind of freaks me out. I'm not used to seeing, you know, people walk by all the time, but you don't usually see someone. So uh, I thought this would be good. Now, certainly Little Brit has earbuds that he wears for school and stuff, but I thought this might help clean my hearing aids. And you can tell it's got this sharp little, it's not, it's not sharp, which is good. So it's got this little piece. It's got a little, um, like a brusher. Oh, and it comes out and it can get inside things. I'm super excited about this. So I'll let you guys know how well this works, but I thought that would, that would be really good. Um, I will tell you, so on my hearing aids, I have to regularly clean out the wax buildup. Um, and there are different tools that you can use for that, but I think this one might be a little bit easier to use. So, and then Big Brit wanted to try this and I've seen this in other places. This is a glue repair pen and it uses, um, this was $2.79. Oh, listen, isn't that fun? Um, this one was 88 cents. This little repair guy, this little repair, this little cleaner. This one is $2.79. And it is meant to use a UV rays, UV rays, something like that, um, to speed up the repairs on certain glues. Uh, so we'll see. Big Brit's gonna try this out and see if there's anything to that. I'm gonna go as quickly as I can, seeing as it's now getting quite noisy. Um, going back to earbuds, I picked up a set of these for uh, Little Brit. This was only 58 cents. And what's cool about these is, uh, the thing about earbuds is that they really, they, they push into your ear, but they can come out. This hooks through the earbud and then you put it around the back of your ear so much like my hearing aids hook behind so you can't even see them um, this hooks around your ear so that the earbud doesn't just fall out I have seen so many students lose their earbuds because one just fell out okay let's move a little faster <laughs> I don't have a whole lot left in here that is not um, well one moment, please. Okay, and just like that, we're back. I have had a uh, change of clothing. The dogs are back. It's nighttime, but just like that, we're back. Um, okay, let's take a look at, at uh, the rest of what we have. Um, I did get one of these. I was kind of interested to see um, how this would hold up. My husband and I actually looked at this one together, um, and we'll see. So we were thinking that something like this uh, very fine mesh strainer uh, is something that, that we could use in cooking. I will say this is so hmm, poor quality that it is almost too sharp to use. This was $1.34. Um, I would have to check out Dollar Tree and see if they have something similar. But uh, But yeah, this is this handle is such poor quality. Um, I know for sure that we're not going to keep this. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to use it. You cut your hand on that thing. All right, putting that aside. Um, I picked up these. This is so cool. All right, so this was 99 cents. I got one to see. I had seen another. I saw someone else use this, and I wish I could remember who it was. Um, I went back to try to find them before the video, and I couldn't locate the video. But she used these for 99 cents. She was using these to showcase some jewelry that she made. So you, op you open it. You open it. Somehow it opens. <laughs> it says push. Oh, there we go. That was a lot easier than I was making it. 
And so you put something on the inside and it helps you showcase something. So I'm going to look through here. When I find a piece of jewelry, we'll put that on the inside and, and uh, see. So I was thinking this might be a way to showcase um, something at one of my shows. Um, okay, so I found something else for my hair. It's big hair day. This was a dollar eight, which is pretty good. And this is meant to, so you twist your hair up and then you push this into it and it's supposed to hold. These have never worked for me, but it's so pretty. And I thought if it doesn't work for my hair, I just like it. Uh, so I'll just put it into something, almost like a vase or something. Maybe a small vase. I have some um, really cute ones. Some some tiny ones are like this tall. So that would be kind of a cute little thing. But I will definitely... <laughs> First, I'm going to throw it. Because that's how we do it, right? <laughs> and then I'll try it. Let's just put that aside, shall we? Um, okay, I picked these up for those sunglasses. So... This, this uh, pack of two was 99 cents, and this is for your car. This goes, if I can open it, sure, somewhere. Here we go. So this is just that the simple, um, and look, more packaging. Uh, these are just the simple little um, clips that you put in your car so you can put your sunglasses up. And... I thought this is something that we could definitely use because I was showing you the ones before. So basically you just, I don't know if I can hold on to anything today, but I'm going to keep trying. So basically you just slide it into the visor right there. And then, um, then you can clip your sunglasses on easy peasy. So your sunglasses slide in here and it just holds them in so that uh, there's an easy storage place for those. So I bought two of those, one for both sides. Um, okay, I also picked up a set of these. This was 97 cents, and honestly, I don't remember. I think these are for the cords. I think these are supposed to hold cords together. I just end up having kind of a mess, especially at school. I have such a mess of cords going like all over the place. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just kind of slide those into this. Um, and then, I don't want hair, you know, you slide that in. You can slide in more than one, but maybe. I don't know for sure. I think that's what this is for. Sometimes I should write down next to it. Whatever it was, I was excited to get it. Um, I will double check on that one and see what that one was for. I'm sure someone out there, one of you out there, one of my wonderful people watching is going to know exactly what that is. If you'll just put it in the comments for me, I would really appreciate it. I'm so glad you guys keep me on track. Seriously, that's so funny. I do think it's for chords, but I could be wrong. Um, anyway, and I told you there was, this was a big hair haul, actually. Um, so I picked this cool thing up. Oh my gosh, I think this was so cool. I just thought it was cool. Um, this was 98 cents. And it's a, it's a hair clip that looks like sunglasses. Dirty sunglasses. But it looks like sunglasses. Isn't that fun? So you put it in your hair and you've got this cute sunglasses in the back of your hair. I thought it was cute. I thought it was fun. Um, okay, we're almost at, oh, we're almost at jewelry. And there's not a lot of jewelry today. That is, I'm falling behind. Okay, so this. I promise I'll hold on to things eventually. <laughs> All right, next one. This is a key ring. It was $1.17. And we used to have these in England all the time because, you know, when you go to um, places like uh, Aldi and you have to put a quarter in to get your shopping cart, you get the quarter back when you're done. Um, that was that was really common in the UK when, when we lived there um, and still is. And so we would have little things similar to this. Basically, you slide it in um, and then... Uh, you know, to use it and you pull it back out again. So we're going to check this next time we get to Aldi, which is probably going to be this weekend. Um, cause I'm kind of, kind of excited 
uh, for this, just to make it so much easier. I don't have to hunt down a quarter. Um, if you hear a little big Brits in the, the little fridge, y'all know the whole, the whole saga about the fridge breaking down. And, um, that was earlier this weekend, everything's sort of bump, bumping around, but, um, so we have a small, like apartment size refrigerator. It's pretty small. It's like a British size refrigerator in here right now. Uh, while we've been kind of, we decided we didn't need to rush and we've been kind of looking around for the refrigerator that we want. And we found all the components that we want. We're just not sure they make a refrigerator that combines all the components. So we want the French doors up and the French doors down for the freezer. And we want the um, door within a door, but we'd also like the door within the door with, um, uh, that, that has like the, um, uh, you know, you can pull up apps and listen to music and stuff on the door. Um, all of those things. And we don't want the ice to be on the door. We want the ice to be down below. And a partridge in a pear tree. And a partridge in a pear tree. So, <laughs> you know, we're, we're looking and, and, and we'd like, you know, we'd, we'd like to not spend 10 grand on the freezer, on the fridge freezer, but, um, so anyway, we're giving ourselves just a week to sort of sort it out, and then not much longer, because I need a refrigerator back in the house. Anyway, there we go. Um, all right, next we have jewelry. And for some reason, I don't have my phone piece. What did I do with it? I thought I had it right here, but I do have the, we're going to use this one instead today. Um, I actually pulled this one up for some of my lighter jewelry. I thought this would be good. Um, okay, so we have a few pieces of jewelry. I'm falling, falling behind in my jewelry hauls. I, these were just fun. I couldn't not buy them. These are so cute and fun. These little mushrooms. And they're going to sit pretty well. Um, so that one and put this back in there and we have this one. I'm trying to, all right, let's see how this one works. So, oh gracious. All right. There's a lot going on with this one. Okay. This one I thought was super fun, a little unusual. And, uh, this is. Y'all know that I do a lot of the Alice in Wonderland collecting, collect, collecting, collecting. And let's see if I got this without a right guess. Um, so it, this is a little unusual. I really, really like this set. I would probably not wear it. It's just not my thing to wear. Um, but I plan on using it with the Alice in Wonderland notebooks, um, or junk journal. Uh, and this one was 207. So fun, 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 very fun. So I'm going to put the posts on. Oh, it's also quite bent. All right. Let me show you how bent that is. Can you see how bent that is? Love to move. Don't love the way they ship, but I love not paying for shipping. So, you know, guess you take the good with the bad. All right, let's see if this if this thing works, because this would be the kind of cool thing. Oh, right, no, that's gonna poke right through. Let's see. So I set it up in there. Oh, look at that. I set it up inside and it just holds it in place. That is super cool. And they have different sizes of this. I'm liking that. Let's see if I can get it back out again. And I dropped a piece. All right, so I, I do very much like that. And then when I took it out, it didn't, it didn't bend or often with them when you're using plastic, you put something that's misshapen in it, it's gonna bend off farther away, so. Um, like that. And the last piece of jewelry I have is a ring. Let's see if I can get it open. And then I have more uh, crafting things than I realized. I just, 
Y'all know me and crafty. Okay, so I had seen this ring. I thought it was really quite pretty. If I move that right side up or right, oh, it's like this. Um, I got it in a bigger size so it could fit here. I kind of like, I like the way it looks. I will tell you for the first time, it doesn't feel as good as any of the other rings. That I, normally the rings that I get from them feel really good. I mean, they feel like they've got a decent amount of weight to them and, um, I like the look of it. I kind of like the, the curly look of it. But, um, how much I pay? So I paid, well, I paid 58 cents for it. So I'm not going to complain. I paid 58 cents for it. It's, I don't, I shouldn't expect it to be more than what it is. Um, and then, so uh, we're going to get into, for those of you who, who don't always like to watch the, um, crafty part. We're going to get into that in just a second. This one kind of spans both. And so I'll show you what I got here. Um, so this doesn't have to be craft. My intention is to use it for crafting. We'll see if that works. This is actually for fingernails. Um, this is the um, very, very thin um, fingernail. Um, it's like fingernail tapes that go on. And see how thin that is. I mean, it is, it is very thin. Uh, there are 10 colors here for 89 cents. It's a great deal. Um, I bought it because I wanted to see if it will adhere to paper and if I can use it in some of my card making as a really thin um, border type thing. I have seen the thin gold borders in the past. I just can't find them right now. I don't know why. I haven't been able to find them, so I thought this might be a good alternative. I'm going to give it a shot, but it is it is intended for fingernails, and for that price, if you're doing nails, that is a fabulous deal. <laughs> really. 89 cents for 10 rolls, and there's a lot on those rolls. You can kind of see. That's going to last you a while. So, um, so let me switch the camera around and then we're going to take a look at the craft items. Okay, so uh, the first thing I have for you guys are these really, really super cool stencils. And, uh, and I don't know yet what I'm going to do with these. I may actually use these to make some um, Little Bird t-shirts. Um, it's, it's funny. I had uh, someone... Okay, I can't get into it. Um, I had a message. It wasn't recent. Um, a while ago, someone saying that I was misappropriating uh, the Little Brit name since when they heard me talking, I clearly wasn't British and I had to go back through. I think I might have mentioned that before. Had to go back and explain, you know, I'm, uh, yes, you're right. I'm not the Brit, but my family sure is. Um, okay, so this one was 69 cents and this is a good size. This is quite big. Um, that's interesting. That's, those are like pieces that didn't quite cut all the way off. So you're going to have to take a look at these before you use them. But I love it. I've been here. <laughs> that's, it's just fun to say, hey, I've been there. I know, you know, I've been, uh, the last time we were in England, um, they were actually uh, renovating Big Ben. Okay, so that was one of them. And then got this next one. Let's see if we can get into this one. And again, it's quite big. Um, so, let me, oops. Okay. Let me try not to rip the actual stencil. I am really liking some of these stencils. Okay. And again, there's a few places in here that I need to carefully sort of carve those back out again. Um, but it's super cool. So, isn't that neat? It's like, there we go. London Bridge, guys. Probably on Guy Fawkes Day, because that's the day, you know, Guy Fawkes or... Um, you know, New Year's Eve, those are the days that I think most commonly, or the coronation, or 
one of those days. Okay, those are super fun. They are super big. Um, these are definitely more like a t-shirt or a whole, maybe a poster. A poster might be fun. All right, I can't wait to show you guys this thing. I'm so excited. I have wanted something like this for so, so long. Um, it's because it's just going to make my life so much easier. Kate, I've been waiting for these to come in. Now I can finally make your stuff. Um, <laughs> these are the templates for making your um, bowl cozies. And they are absolutely fabulous. And what did I pay for this? This is a whole series of them. This was $12.48. These were $12.48. Um, and you've got a cozy within a cozy. I mean, you've got so many different sizes going on here. It's amazing. Um, but doing the bowl cozies always took me, I, may, I, I make them for um, craft fairs and things, but they do take time just because of um, cutting, getting the cutting down right, getting your darts in. Um, all of those things are just, you know, time. And uh, I love that this makes really big ones. So you can have like your full bowls. Um, I'll show you. It actually comes with instructions, which is really cool. Um, so this one, this is a 12 inch. And which one is this one? Not the 12 inch. 16, 11. I normally make a 10 inch. Uh, so I think probably the 11 inch is closer to the normal size that I make. Um, yeah, I think probably the 11 inch is going to be the clo closest to the, you know, this one, this inside one. Um, the outer one is 16 inches. I mean, look at all the different sizes you get. One, two, three, four. You get six different sizes and you get instructions. I don't actually need instructions. I have made these so much I can make them with my eyes closed. Well, that would probably would be dangerous. You know, you'd cut yourself. But um, <laughs> really super excited to get these in. Um, that that was one of those big things I just wanted to get in. My big season starting soon and I really need to, I need to get with it. Especially as I am getting the new... Um, uh, Christmas uh, series up and going for you guys. Super excited. Okay, I did pick up, let's see if I can probably get, no, let's get closer. Um, I did pick up these cool Alice stickers. I am pretty sure that I already have this set. I, I mean, I think I knew that I had this set. I think this is the same set. But, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm going to move this thing down a little bit so we can. All right, so let's see what we have here. And I think, let me just make sure. I'm sure these are stickers. Yep. So let's do my normal thing. I'm going to, oops, let's center that a little bit better for you. And like the roses. So they're not just Alice. Um, but some of them are. Look at the Cheshire Cat. Hi, T. Drink me. <laughs> These are just awesome. Okay. I am loving these. I think I already have this one, but I don't fully remember. Not all of these. I do think sometimes they take stickers from one set and then they, they're redoing it. You know, of course they are. Why not? Um, she's so cute. I can get this next one up. The flamingo. That's a little weird. Just her single leg. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, there's another leg. <laughs> oh, sure. I like that little Alice in Wonderland. And then... Got some, there's the mouse and cards. Okay, so there's that set of stickers. Um, let's see, is that the only set of stickers that we have? I'm trying to do this in a reasonable way for you guys. Yep, I think that's the only set of stickers. I did pick up 
these. And uh, what's so these were, let's see, I'm sorry, the stickers were $1.26. So that was a great deal. That's probably why I picked them up. They were super cheap. These were $1.67 for 100 And these are just marking. These are just um, labels. But $1.26 for the labels, at $1.67, I'm sorry, for these labels was, was pretty good. Um, especially if I did those with the earrings. Um, so some oddities. I can't believe I accidentally bought the, I almost bought a third one. Because I keep looking at it thinking it's something different and it's not. So for 88 cents, I can't believe I did it to myself again. But I ended up with, I can't get it open. That's this way. More of these little guys. This it, Basically, this is just tape. It's, I believe it's two-sided tape. Um, okay, we got one side. And then let me get this in two sides. So we have two-sided tape. That's really all it is. Um, a tiny container of it. I mean, I'll use it because it's two-sided tape, but really, I can't believe I did that again. All right, let me pull you back just a, just a wee bit. Get this out of the way. That one out of the way. Um, I did buy another mat for the... Um, la, 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 la. Um, Wax seals. So 78 cents for this one. I think I also have a pink one. Um, so that was fun. And also for the wax seals, I picked up this cool guy. So what this does is um, you actually put your wax directly in it. So this was 2.98. So um, you melt the wax and then you just put, you pour it right in here and then you stamp it. Um, and I just was very excited for this because it's going to give me those perfect round circles if that's what I'm going for for that one. So, um, by the way, the, the ring is kind of growing on me. We'll see. Um, and continuing with the wax, I did pick up this gold. Um, I know that I'm going to want to do a bunch of gold wax seals, particularly for Christmas. So I picked that one up. And uh, that that one, this one was 98 cents, and I think that's for a hundred. This one was a dollar fifty-nine. I think this one is also a hundred, but I want y'all to look at the difference. So this one was 98 cents, this one was a dollar fifty-nine, and uh, and it just has to do with the size of each of the pieces of wax. These are much bigger. This one is the, what, Mediterranean blend? Mediterranean colors. And I thought that would go well with the Alice in Wonderland um, wax seal that I have. Okay. So next, I have these cool things. This was $1.08. This is for, um, not my junk journaling, this is for the uh, notebooks that I'm making. Um... I, I do a lot of different things. So I got, what, six in here? Two, three, four, five, six. Um, here's what's really cool about this. Basically, it's just your pen holder, right? So instead of my having to build up a pen holder, and I don't like doing the um, the paper pen holders. I just don't. Because um, I worry that they're going to rip. And although they don't normally, I really liked the idea of this one sort of pre-done. Um, and it might give me some ideas on how to do it myself next time. But it's just sticky. So I can put this into a notebook. And then if I um, layer correctly, then I can make everything kind of fit properly. Does that make sense? It'll lay properly. Um, but I'm going to give those a try with six of them for, what did I say, a dollar eight. Um, that's a pretty good deal to get a good, a good latch. Um, okay, so next, let's do the die cuts next. Because we got some really cute die cuts today. Oh my golly. It's a mermaid, guys. I love it. I really love it. I do think it's interesting. This to me looks like the back of the mermaid's head. So, you know, you can do the mermaid hair um, or the mer hair. It can be a boy or a girl. And uh, that was really cool. This one was $1.48. 
Then, oh my golly, I love this one so much. Although it's backwards, it it, it says um, to the moon. I think it says to the moon and back. Something pretty close to what I say to Griffin. So it's a little bit. That one was 78 cents. I love this one. I'm definitely going to be using this one soon for some card making. Um, so get ready because I'll, I'm sure I'll post it. Uh, so I just thought this was so cute. I can use this little girl in so many different places. Um, you know, Chris, you can do a Christmas card where she's reaching to the tree. You can, you can use this, uh, this bird with her. You could put, oh, this would be cute. You could put, um, a moon up here or just, you could really just do this to the moon as she's reaching to the moon. Um, I think she's adorable. She was 48 cents. I mean, she's not big. She's about two inches by an inch, but she doesn't really need to be big. Love her, love her, love her. And for that price, 48 cents. This one was 89 cents. And look at these cute little um, shells. Best type of shelling. I just think these are fabulous. Um, and for some of the upcoming albums that I'm doing, I love the idea of being able to include some of those. This one is super cool. If you can tell what it is, this is for clock faces. So although I don't have numbers on here, this is for clock, this is not clock faces. That was another different one. I'm sorry. I lie. I don't mean to lie. It's not intentional. Um, this is actually just for tags. This is for the round tags. So I was, um, I have something else that's going to come in and this is really what the, what part of it looks like, but I digress. This is for tags and I think it's great. Um, it just gives me a lot of different options and I like having the bigger one. I think I'll get mo the most use out of that one. Did I say that one was 68 cents? Oh my word. This guy is so cool. The scuba diver, 89 cents. And again, more of the beach theme because I have a beach thing. These are wonderful. Look at these die cuts. I can't wait to do a few of these. I probably should have waited. This was $1.98. I, um, if you haven't seen the crafting with Timu, the late, latest one I did, let me pull this back just a bit. Um, nope, wrong way. These are some of the cards that I made. Um, for the, I, I made one card with everyone, but it would have been fun to have some a die cut and not just a stamp. So the paper, the die cut, and the stamps are all from Timu. Um, seize the day. I, I really love these. Uh, this piece here uh, is a uh, die cut. And it's sitting over the top of this paper. Um, so this is, I just love these. Thanks from the depths of my heart. So anyway, it would have been cool to be able to uh, to put some of those other ones on here. The seashells, wishing you oceans of happiness, and keep swimming. This is something I'm actually going to be sending to a friend of mine who just lost her husband, who is also a very dear friend. Um, anyway. Um, and look what I found. I found that... All right, here, this is really exciting. So the more I look on the Timu site, the more I am finding um, Alice in Wonderland things that are just not labeled Alice in Wonderland. I think this might have been called Girl in a Teapot or something crazy. I would, Timu, if you're listening, I would love to work for you all just re-explaining or, or rewriting your, um, your, your copy for how people find these items. Um, this is so cute. This is absolutely just adorable. I can't, I have no, no more words for it other than this is adorable and I love it very much. Can't wait to do this one. I might do this tonight just for fun. Um, but finding more and more Alice things. And I have uh, one, of you, one of you all, I'm so sorry, I don't remember names. Um, one of our friends from Australia had recently sent me a message saying she, uh, we were talking about doing, possibly doing an Alice swap. Uh, she said she didn't, uh, it was it would be too far for her to do an Alice swap, but she'd be happy to send me some Alice items and um, and I have to go back and and I was I was feeling you know I, I don't I feel like I shouldn't be asking anyone for anything ever so I am always um, it's always hard for me to accept help praise 
and gifts. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Is it a woman thing? I think it might be. Um, but it, she was so sweet and, and I, I really wish that I had said, yeah, I'd love to have those things. Um, but, uh, but I do, it is, it's very, very difficult for me. Uh, anyway, moving on. So this, I want to tell you, this is so cool because it is intended so that when you do the die cut, it fits inside, um, a tin box like this. And I hope it really does. Right now it looks a little bit big for this one. Oh, but there are other other tin boxes like this. So I'm hoping that that works. I've got another one around here that I got from... That's way too big. Right, I'm looking at this one. This one's going to be way too big because I got this one at Dollar Tree. Um, so I will keep looking, but I wonder if that would fit like this. Oh, it looks like this one might actually fit side by side in this one. Anyway, um, I'll tell you if I find the right fit for that one. Oh, I'm sorry. This one was $2.98 and Alice in Wonderland was $2.48. The wonderful Alice teapot was $2.48. Um, as with the last Timu haul, I will try to link the receipt so you can at least find how to find them. Is that the right? Maybe that, I don't know if that's the right way to put it, find how to find them. Um, and the last one was this really, really cool box. So this is going to be, um, you need, you would need to print or to, to, uh, cut two of these. Um, and then they fit together. This is just a super cool design. I really like it. So you would fold this over and then you would fold these up and around and you're going to have this cute little box. Now, I here's my one caveat to this and we'll see how this one cuts. The last time I used one similar, similar to this where it was supposed to just create a fold, it wasn't supposed to cut through, it cut through. So it did not create a nice fold space for me. It simply cut all the way through and I hope that doesn't happen with this one. Um, okay, so let's move those out of the way. We got some cool stuff. I just really love all of the um, the dyes and the. I could never have done all these dyes here in state. I just couldn't afford it. Um, but with Timu's help, I can. All right, I'm gonna take these out. So this one was. Did I tell you the price of the box? I don't know if I did. This one was $3.59, which I honestly think was well worth it because this is the kind of thing I would use all the time, um, as long as it cuts properly. Okay, so next, for your viewing pleasure, we have some wonderful stamps. And they really are... Let me do this. Uh, maybe I'll do this. I love that. Patience... These are just beautiful, beautiful stamps. Um, so far, I have started using my Timu stamps, and they're they're gorgeous. This was a dollar twenty nine. That's it, a dollar twenty nine. Um, I have not had any problems with my Timu stamps, not a single problem um, so far. You know, so so far so good. Let's do this one. Y'all know me and bees. This was one ninety eight. Um, and in particular, I really liked just the different sizes that I was getting. It's the exact same one. Um, but you get all, all, excuse me, all of these different sizes. And I thought that would be really, that could be very useful. Um, I will say these are, these are the same size, but the B isn't the same size. I don't think. Maybe it is. What I will say is, okay, so what isn't useful to me necessarily is two of these and two of these and, you know, two of these and two, that, oh, as I, look at that again, I can't keep thinking in my hands, but, but the single ones were, so, okay, more Alice in Wonderland, and I think this was labeled, I don't remember what this was labeled, I simply came across it, and I was tickled, a dollar fifty-two, guys. A dollar fifty-two. I think I need something lighter behind this one. Let's see what I've got here. I should have a piece of. How's that? Is that better? 
Her Majesty, would you tell me please which way I ought to go from here? The Queens, we're all mad here. These are beautifully done. These are um, these look like look to be the real the original illustrations. Um, fabulous, fabulous. Okay, next, keeping with my I now have quite a few C type stamps, which I love. Okay, this one was one ninety one. Look at that beautiful whale. These are wonderful. This would have been so good at the bottom of, where's that one? At the bottom of one of these. Can you, I love this one too. I actually really do love the way this card turned out, but I could have put this big one right across the bottom too. I have more of these to make because there were 50 different design, um, 25 different designs, no, 50 different designs, 100 um, of these cards. So all of them are different which is so fun. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. This next one, $1.49. If I can get into it. I, no promises. <laughs> Just, oh my golly. You gotta love it. Happy birthday sign for you. Thank you. But the big one for me is this amazing little elephant with his balloons. I love it. And I love the corner pieces too. I think those are super fun. And I needed, I did not have any um, clouds. Shocking, I know, but I didn't have any clouds. And last but not least is this, I'm not going to take this one out. This one was $1.79 uh, for this stamp. And I just thought, again, this really went with my Alice in Wonderland theme things. So I just thought that was super cool. Super, super cool. And right now we are actually working towards, um, <laughs> well, I really hope that you guys, uh, you know, check out the Crafting with Timu that I've started working on. Uh, there are several videos out now. I've done the cards. Um, what else did I do before that? <laughs> there are three videos out right now. So the, the latest one were the where they see, I'll show you again because I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm just, you can, can skip this part of it, but I'm so proud of these. This one, um, I, instead of punching out the bottom pieces, I actually left them there as opposed to these. Um, so I just decided I wanted this one to have a little bit more of the ocean in that one. So um, I really just, uh, I love the way this blends in. I mean, it just looks like it was always intended to be there. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm knocking the camera around. Um, I did buy another bone folder. I now have a couple of theirs. And honestly, it's just because you can never have enough. <laughs> you can never have enough. And this one is very smooth. My last one had a weird little glitch in it. Um, so this is my last one. Also, this one got covered in glue <laughs> recently. So it needs cleaning. So... You know, until I have a chance to clean that one, look, I can just use my new one and cover it in glue. <laughs> Super fun. Um, okay, next. Are y'all ready for the charms? You know I'm going to have some charms and some, some fun stuff here. All right. So let's, let's get up close and personal. Let's see if this might be too up close and personal, but we'll see. So I did pick up a bunch of the uh, the hooks. I need those. I've been putting the jewelry together. I just love it. It's easy. It goes together very quickly, very simply, um, and it's just fun. These were each a dollar thirty four for fifty. So these are um, there. There are different lengths of them. This is kind of the mid length, and I like this one the best. So I got several of those. Okay, and I also picked up this. Uh, bag. I think there's a hundred in here. I want to say there's a hundred. Uh, for 78 cents, these are the backings. Just, you know, just in case for some people, I like being able to give people that, that additional safety um, of the backing. Okay, so then I started to get into, oh, if I can get over here we go. Look at these Eiffel Towers. I just thought these were quite fun. Um, 
And I was thinking that this might end up being something people were really interested in. A dollar seven for, what is it, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That's 15. Okay, so there's quite a few in here. Um, and again, more than likely with these, I would, not more than likely, with these, I would definitely put them together based on um, the colors, you know, putting the colors together. Um, but that was quite, quite a good deal. I like, I like their little, their metal pieces. Um, let me get those out of the way. Then I got, oh my goodness, I can't wait to show you this. Okay. This is, this might be my favorite ever. Well, one of my favorites. Toast. Look at the toast with the eggs. I can't stand it. You only get five. You get five, but these were 57 cents when I ordered them. I don't think they're still 57 cents, but the teaming prices, you know, they go up and down and up and down. Um, so it's, it's certainly worth keeping something in your basket and then looking back at it. I'm sorry, the cameras. I got the camera like going bum, 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 bum. Um, but I love these. I think these are just so cool. I wish that they had bacon. If they had bacon, I would get the bacon and do a set with bacon and eggs. Especially the eggs on toast. Uh, because my mom used to make us eggs in a frame. And I loved them. They're my favorite. Okay, next. This is the evil dragon fruit. If you heard the saga of the dragon fruit that melted in the freezer and it looked like a... Um, murder zone so that happened so that th i ordered this before the dragon fruit uh murder in the freezer um but these are just these cool little uh these little balls filled with your dragon fruit pieces i thought those were just really fun something kind of fun and interesting and different i like how they kind of move around yeah, these are just these little glass balls i just i just love them um those aside, um, okay, so, so, next, I just thought, again, I thought these were super fun, and something that someone could really get into, look at these cute little crowns, they are rather tiny, they are pretty tiny, I mean, here, I'll show you the, the relationship with them. That's how it fits on my finger. So, but they're adorable. I can just definitely see. Um, I would, I, I think I'm going to see if I have some gold um, bases or uh, earring bases that are even smaller because I can see the, I like, you know, mother, daughter, a little girl wanting to wear her little crowns. I just thought that was really cute. So Ashley told me that um, her best friend's daughter has uh, commandeered her um, tiara, <laughs> which I thought was really quite cute. Um, all right, next. We're getting there. We're almost there. Another big haul. Let's see if we can get this open. I got another set of fruit, and this one, fruit-wise, is one of my favorites because it's little lemons. Look at how stinking cute those lemons are, guys. Look at the detail. Don't lick my fingers because they're, you know, I need definitely need a, a manicure. Um, but the detail on these lemons inside these things is just amazing. They are adorable. I just think that these are wonderful. You got a little lemon action going on there. It feels like sunshine. So put those on a gold, gold hoop. Um, and then I got this one. Several, th there are things sometimes I get that I just think, you know, this is just fun. Um, and I do like, uh, okay. I do like fun. All right, I can't get into it. So let's, let's cut that off. Let's see if I can get into it now. If I can't get into it now. There we go. Okay. Look at how fun these are. I don't understand it, but they're really cute. It's a bunny on a stick. <laughs> it's a bunny popsicle. Or in England, they call it a lolly. But it's a bunny popsicle here. And it's just so stinking cute. I don't even, I can't even. 
It's so cute. I thought those were adorable. I thought, you know, it goes along with some of the kitschy type jewelry that I'm doing these days. Um, and then, oh, and I keep forgetting to tell you prices. So, Dragon Fruit was 77. The Rabbit Lollies were 78. The lemon in a, um, the lemons um, in a glass ball, $1.17. Um, the toast with eggs was 57. I think I told you the rest of them. Um, so just fabulous prices. Uh, $1.17 for this bag of, um, of crowns. And I think there's like 12 or 15 in there. There's a lot in there. This last one, I got two bags. They were 78 cents each. And I had to get two. I just had to. Because I wanted to be able to mix and match these. And I wanted, I you know, in order to match them, you had to have a second bag. I love these chess pieces. Um, so some of these will stay with me. My father was a chess player. Um, he really loved chess. He had some beautiful chess sets. Um, our, my, you know, our eldest son learned to play chess uh, with grandpa. Most of his uh, cousins learned to play chess with grandpa. So um, just super fun. Most of, you know, most of my siblings learned to play chess with my father. He did try to teach me and I was, um, I was not interested at the time. I wish I had spent the time to, to sit down and play more chess with him. But, um, but anyway, this, uh, the chess pieces are in honor of my father, Robert Warren Stroh. He was an amazing man. That's it for me tonight, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked it, if you liked the videos, um, please, please, please uh, hit the like, hit subscribe, leave me a comment. I love, love hearing from you guys. I really, truly, honestly do. Um, I will give you a little tip. I know I'm trying to fit it, uh, but I'll give you a little tip. In my family, um, my parents with nine children had to find a way to make sure that everyone understood there were times when we would kid around and there were times when you don't kid. And um, they needed sort of a, a keyword that everyone would, or, or set or, or whatever, that we all knew when you said this, you can't be kidding. So um, in my family, we use the term family honest. That's for me. That's for our children. Our children use it. My family uses it. My parents used it, my siblings. Um, so from me to you, family honest, I love, love hearing from you. You guys have an amazing night. Cheers.